Hello guys, hello everyone. Welcome to the session of end to end AML program where you guys are gonna learn everything that you need to become a successful data scientist. Hope you guys are enjoying this session. We are learning a lot every day, so hope the same way for you all guys. If you guys have a stake anywhere, if you guys need any doubts related to this data science or anything that you have done uh, done till this, please make sure that we uh, let us know. So just put it in the comments the doubts. So we will be there to take it up and just answer your comments. Okay. So before coming to the session, please, sir, uh, please, guys, please make sure that you guys have watched all the previous session videos and have a perfect understanding of what they are. So today we're gonna see something very important. I will tell because like we all gonna handle data, right? Uh, each and every day we all gonna handle the data. So we need to know what are the ethics that has begin the data, so that we can do this data science in a better and more ethics manner. Okay, so. Data science is a, a rapid, so like we will just dive into this session. Okay, so introduction to data science ethics. So data science is a rapidly changing our world. However, it also brings ethical uh, challenges that requires careful considerations. Okay, I like we are all we are, we all have uh, told these things in like nearly 15 to 20 sessions. Okay, the thing is. Whenever you are having a data, you are having a like a new age field. As Sarah mentioned, it's a new age field. So you need to treat in a manner, in a proper manner. Because like uh, whenever there is a bleach of data, then a client will lose the confidence on you. Okay. So whenever you are just working on data, make sure that you follow all the ethics. Okay. So what are the ethics that we're going to see in this session? So yeah, I hope you guys are going to enjoy the session. So that's from my side. Yes, over to you. Yeah. So guys, you need to consider ethical, like ethical consideration is very, very important, guys. So I will give you one example. There's a country who has given order to build some gadgets, okay, electronic gadgets. And they have given to a specific country. I'm not taking name. I'll give you analogy so you'll understand. That country has given to some other country's company that uh, consignment order, and that come the 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 suppose the uh, country X has given order to a com country Y, and that Y has given uh, that manufacturing unit to Z. So what happened? And the the y is not knowing that x has given it to z and then there are a lot of people who died because of that like not considering that ethically they have not considered ethical like they did not tell to the client directly that we are not manufacturing your opponent or other country with with whom you don't have good relations they are going to manufacture otherwise they would have stopped they would not give an order and that was hidden so when you do these violations for ethics so what will happen now is nobody will give order to that country the country's economy will be in jeopardy because now people will say oh we will not give this country order because they will also they will do other products and services they might outsource source it to some other country without taking consent and then will we will get a huge loss because of that so understand the complexity of ethics so i am giving this example like data is far far faster you can transfer data in fraction of second millions of data and that how, what it can do to your economy and if suppose you have got a lot of data from America there um, they have given you survey and that data is leaked and you are not ethically considered that so uh, and you you might have misused it so then what will happen the entire IT sector of Indian economy will be in jeopardy because this company has uh, like because of that there would be millions billions of dollars of loss so that is why it's a it's a highly highly sensitive and in 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 fraction of seconds guys in in seconds you can transfer millions of somebody can hack 
and take data millions of data sets from your computer or your server if you are not considering ethics privacy you you, you don't take consent on data and it's it's a very deep subject matter i am talking right now ethics is a big big and i will say it is the entire thing because this will protect your data and customers data and the company's future aspects and future growth that is it, ethics are super super important in terms of like in data science this is the most challenging job and it's a world challenging job so consider these things because uh, it might sound like cool i am a data scientist but there are a lot of responsibilities which you need to consider and that will make you a great data scientist ethics they are very very important okay let's move to the other yeah sure sir so yeah guys as sir is mentioning the word data scientist is looks very better okay but like i will say it will be completed only we follow the ethics okay so whenever you guys are having a data you you should be very very in a very very sensitive and you should be very very careful in a manner that you will not leak in any of the form okay consider you you the client asked you to visualize the data and give the insight if you're gonna use some online tool and you're gonna upload the data there then is there any point that you will be very confident that this data will be not uh, leaked no right so you guys need to think each and everything whether uh, in any format how the data will be like consider if you are storing your data in drive itself is it gonna be that much secure so you guys need to ask these questions before going for data science itself i'm, I'm saying like before going for data collection itself okay you guys need to have a have a clear understanding of where you are collecting a data where you are storing the data what kind of tool you are going to use to collect the insight from the data okay so you guys need to have a clear understanding of from where the data begins to where the data ends everything you guys need to be keep track of okay so hope you guys have understand these things let's move on to the next slide okay okay so what is data science ethics okay Data science ethics examine the moral principles and values that should be guide the data collection. Okay, collection, analysis, and use of data. This is what the same thing I told, right? Where the data birth, okay, to the data die. So where it starts to end. So you need to have a hundred percent understanding of what it is doing. First is the fairness. So ensure the algorithms and decisions are unbiased and equality equitable. Okay. The thing is whatever the algorithms or whatever the uh, decision that you are making right it should be informed decision based on the data that you are having okay that should be the fairness then privacy protecting the sensitive information of individuals and maintaining their privacy i i hope like today in the world of llm they have trained all the data from all the websites that we are having they are scrapping and using so you guys should be making the data that is not available public and also private because like today the LLMs are like a massive machines. Okay. They need to have that much data and they are just scrapping data from all the websites that are available um, like online and they are uh, using different books for scanning and then just they are training their LLMs. So we should have a data which is very protected manner. Okay. So that you can able to ensure the privacy transparency. Making data and algorithms understandable for the uh, unaccountable, understandable, accountable. So uh, I'm not saying like the client should have, uh, you should uh, tell the client about nooks and corners of algorithm, not like that. You should be in a manner that, okay, these are the things that is happening by this algorithm on the input. So we are getting the output in that understanding you need to give to the client. So, so that client can understand. Okay. If you guys going to say, I'm going to do a magic with the data that the client will not uh, will not be able to believe you. Okay, that's a major thing. You, the client should believe you whenever you're doing something. Okay. Finally, accountability, determining responsible responsibility for the consequence of data driven decisions. So this is major thing guys. You are the one who are accountable 
for whatever the data it is doing okay whatever the data is doing okay because you are a person who who got the data from the client okay and you are a person who is doing all kind of insights uh, related works so you guys are very very responsible and accountable whenever there is some problem with the data okay whether it is a bleach or some data are missing anything okay so these are the data science ethics so hope like this has some introduction to what this ethics mean for this data science okay so yeah that's for my said yes sir, over to you yeah so what is data science and ethics uh, okay what is in data science if we say what is ethics in data science uh, so data science ethics are we examine model principles like values that should guide the collection analysis and use of data but they should not be like you should not have values which are biased values like guys values means the integrity you have to protect the rights of uh, the customers you have to protect the rights of stakeholders you have to take consent so it's not that i'll make my values according to me and then uh, i'll follow those values and i'll say oh i followed all values okay so fairness that is the first thing ensuring that that the algorithms and decisions are unbiased and okay equitable so they are unbiased that is the in human you see in humans we are always biased towards familiarity or similarity or oh this is my community this is my region this is these are my people this is my community so that should not be in data you there should be fairness it should be unbiased then privacy protecting the sensitive information of individuals and maintaining the privacy privacy should not be taking data and just publishing out um, that data and violating somebody's privacy huh? then transparency making the data and algorithm understandable and accountable so you have to make them accountable it's not that you make algorithms it should be clear that what this algorithm is doing and it should be accountable also so somebody should be accountable so it's not that oh tomorrow you'll see oh this algorithm there's this and uh, i am not responsible this algorithm is responsible so it's not that okay accountability now the determining responsibility for consequences of data driven decisions so you need to take responsibility for the consequences like you've developed a car an algorithm for a self driving car and goes it kills 100 people who is responsible car or you so the person who is de design the algorithm or the car so i think it should be defined that who is who should be responsible for such things and if you have seen a movie called fast and furious that the person um, there's a person who just makes uh, hacks all the cars and then there is a collision and stuff so these i'm just giving you insights guys what can happen and that can happen through data only now if you see countries will fight over data and data will be the source for hacking all these uh, uh, cyber security i think data is the main thing guys i'm telling you and there would be there would be wars in future on data i'm telling you so these are my predictions so consider this as a as a gold mine it's beyond gold mine i'm saying it's new currency new oil new gold mine new economy so ethics are very very important and the, these ethics will protect the rights and the like the indigenous like who's whosoever's data it is whatever you are using for and you, it will protect the rights of that particular indigenous community is it a community data is it whatever data it is ultimately this data would be people's data i'll say because 
we have to make decisions we have to do innovations we have to make new technologies for people and it data would be f uh, either f uh, f it would be climate data or it would be um, planetary data or it would be human data or it would be resource data or it would be a defense data so it can be any kind of data so we need to be very 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 accountable so with the great job data scientists there comes great responsibility and that is ethics let's move to the other section yeah sure sir as, as sir has mentioned like only thing that i can tell now is like data is like an economy okay you, you you guys need to handle a data in a manner like it is like a money okay today like uh I think as if sir, sir is mentioning and predicting in this manner, so I will also tell the same thing like the wars can happen due to data. Okay. So guys, as a data scientist, we are having lots of responsibility so that uh, we we safeguard the data which is given by the client with all and the not proper wars will happen. Wars will be won by also by data and lo <laughs> lost by because of data. And yeah. if you don't have data, data scientists, you don't have data properly, you will lose the war. You can win the war if you know data, if you have great data scientists. And if you have great data scientists and then they leak your data, you will again lose the war. So data is the key. The data is the economy and it is going to be a very critical factor in uh, in uh, this decade and I think for next hundred years until life continues. Yeah, um, as long as data is there, we are there. We are as a data scientist, we will be there. Okay. So yeah, now consider these things there. It was like um, we, we need to have this much responsibility uh, and we need to treat the data in a manner that uh, that it doesn't leak any privacy kind of thing. Okay. So yeah, moving. Uh, let us move to the next slide. So moving on, yeah. So what are the importance of ethical consideration in data science? Let's see, okay. So ethical consideration in data science are crucial for building trust, ensuring responsible use of data and preventing harm. Okay, these are all the things that, that we are discussing for the last 20 minutes, okay. I think 15 to 20 minutes, okay. Let's see, public trust, building and maintaining public trust in data-driven decision and technologies, okay. You need to have a trust of a large volume of people so that uh, people can uh, consider you okay whenever the data is given to you okay uh, there is a possibility of a uh, glitch or a uh, bleach will be very very less okay you need to have this much just, uh, trust okay you need to build the trust then avoiding bias uh, mitigating bias in algorithms to prevent uh, discriminations and prop, uh, promote fairness okay so whenever you create the algorithm guys okay uh, as sir and me myself is mentioning no algorithm should be 100 percent we should get an optimal algorithm so now we need to make an optimal algorithm so that it will not underfit or overfit and create a high variance or low variance high bias or low variance it will be in a optical optimal algorithm so in order to avoid this bias next is uh, protecting privacy safeguarding sensitive personal information from unauthorized access and use okay I don't know like how many of you guys know about chatbot okay chatbot is a kind of thing that uh, whenever you ask a question you're gonna return the things okay I, I will say um, this chat GPT I, I hope like everyone in the world know about chat GPT right it is also a kind of chatbot but if you guys are going very personal and asking something to it if I, I'm pretty sure like it is not safe okay because like it's a public domain and Whenever you are just typing something, the OpenAI is learning the things. Okay, ChatGPT is powered by OpenAI. So OpenAI uses the data to learn. So like we will call it as a reinforcement learning. They will learn. Okay. So there, there is a bleach of uh, privacy. Okay. If you guys need to create a chat ChatGPT kind of chatbot in a future, you hope like you should not use some uh, licensed model because like they have some in inter contracts that, uh, like a contracts kind of thing that they're going to read your data. Okay. I'm pretty sure like uh, one who are running the business, they doesn't need 
uh, your da their data should be read by someone else. So you need to build a model which is local and it will not read their data and at the same time it should give a feature of chat uh, chat kind of thing, okay, chat power kind of thing. So I hope like uh, we need to create a privacy for the person or a friend or client who is asking you to create something related to in a data sense. Okay, next. Responsible innovation. Developing and deploy, uh, deploying data science solutions that benefit society and aligning with the ethical values. Okay, like this is a, I will say it is a final goal and also it, is, it should be a starting goal. Okay, whatever you guys need doing, right? It should be very, very useful for the mankind. Okay, because like end of the day, uh, like money is important, but like uh, whatever we are doing, right? If it is usable by everyone, then only there is success. You are, you are just building something today okay something very very innovative very very challenging very interesting thing but it is not useful for the mankind zero percent useful for the mankind then what is the point that you have innovated okay so we will get money no no that is not a problem but like what is the point of innovating it that is a zero percent chance of use by the people right then there is no uh, there is no point to innovate the new technology which is not at all useful for the human human and mankind okay so yeah so these are the importance of ethical consideration in data science case so yeah sir over to you yeah so importance of ethical considerations in data science is public trust you have to build and maintain public trust one is building the other one is maintaining and um, in data driven decisions and technologies so that will only be done when you are not misusing data, when you are not biased, when you are caring for data. Okay, like we care, na? we care for our country soil, we can care for our, uh, I'll say, territory of our country. Now, this world is different, guys. Now care is in data. So if your data is protected your cyber security all those things will matter now there would be a time when you will have no boundaries i'll say the world will be one but what would be boundary is the data protection the cyber security and how people are trusting your data whatever you work you are doing then avoiding bias again mitigating bias in algorithm to prevent discrimination and promote fairness that should be very like it should see suppose there are some trading apps i can see in the market right now they are completely biased towards the founder like they they have designed that way that the founder should be rich others they are losing money they want shortcut outcomes i'm giving you just example and those algorithms are biased algorithm guys and they've been designed that way that's a different world i'm saying because right now you are learning you should not be biased but if there would be a time when you are a designer you are hired by a company and the owner says you build a biased algorithm so there your ethics also will come your values will also be at stake because Suppose you are a data scientist and you are designing some algorithm, you created a model and you are, and that this person wants to build a application for trading app where all people will lose money and the owner is going to get the money. Yeah. So then first three, four times they will gain some, they will get double, double and then fifth time they will lose everything. So if algorithm is designed that way then that i'll call that as a biased algorithm which is not ethical guys as a data scientist if you're learning here with us so you should even if you get millions of dollars don't do such job don't work for such company or some such people okay then protecting privacy safeguarding sensitive information for unauthorized access and use this is also very important huh? responsible innovation which we which i call is value innovation which brings value which creates win-win so developing and deploying data science solutions to build 
society aligning with the ethical values so we need to we need to we need to consider uh, the ethical values aligning with the ethical values we need to give benefit to society that is why problem statement not only you need to look at problem statement you need to also look at problem statement because that is the first source for collecting data guys use case i'm saying the problem statement so you need to look that is it going to help the larger good for the humanity or it is going to help only one person who want to create a trading trading app or a cryptocurrency uh, uh, application or something huh? so you need to look at is it going to help the larger good for the people that is a good consideration it can be you can do good for a company but that company is also doing good for the people and adding value so that should add value innovation there should be a value innovation in the society and that will be helping otherwise it is not going to help yeah so these are the considerations which you have to consider uh, in, in in data science ethical considerations which are very very important and uh, remember them write them whenever you write on keep your on your desk these uh, values now always remember those values when you're working on data science projects or ai ml or ai scientists or data scientists or AI engineer. Huh? So these are very important. Okay. Let's move to the others. Yeah, sure, sir. So yeah, guys, like uh, you guys need to have a clear cut understanding of uh, what what are the ethics that we need to fall uh, when we are working on data. Okay, that's a major thing from this guy. Okay. So let's move on to the next slide. Yeah. Key ethical principles in data science. So let's see what are the principles that we are having. Ethical principles provide a framework for making responsible decision making or decisions in data science. First is beneficence, like using data science to promote good and minimize harm. Okay, so I will say like this beneficence is like we need to promote the data science, but like in a manner that we will not create harm to others. Okay, next, non maleficent like avoiding actions that could cause harm or negative consequence okay as sir has mentioned right you as a data scientist we should not do something like okay this much money is we are getting okay so we can do anything no no not like that so that is why we are learning some things right so if you are having some guidelines as a data scientist you guys need to use use and you guys need to follow that so if you are having some set of principles we need to we need to just stick on to it okay so yeah that's another thing then, autonomy, respecting individuals' autonomy and informed, like this data collection and use. So the thing is, you guys need to have informed decision, right? So based on that, you guys need to have okay. This is a data collection source that I have used. So it has it has a privacy, and this is a tool that I have used. So it also has a privacy for visualization. I have used a tool that is also have a privacy. So like. You need to have an end-to-end privacy, like, yeah, these are the things that I have done, so your, your data is not bleached, okay? So these are the key principles that we are having this. So uh, whenever you start to work on the data, just make sure that you guys follow all this principle, all these three principles. Yes, sir, over to you. Yeah, so key ethical principles in data science, guys, ben beneficiary, we need to have uh, like use data science promote good and minimize what there should be benefit like benefit it should be beneficial for other people okay so promoting good minimizing harm okay these are very important things then non mal finish we need to have avoiding actions that could cause harm and negative consequences autonomy Re respecting individual autonomy you need to respect the indigenous okay individual uh, what, whatever data it is that you need to protect it huh? 
you are, you are the custodian of it huh? don't misuse so inform consent you have to take consent also huh? when in collection when you're collecting data and when you're using so that is what is called we already discussed these impact so you have to take informed consent you have to take consent uh, in the data collection and also for the use that is what is autonomy so these are the very important aspects principles so in data science remember them and consider them while you're working in the project let's move to the yeah sure sir yeah, guys uh so we will pass here so this session we have introduced something which is very very important i will say okay uh, so as i am mentioning that everyone who knows the library they can use the library and do data pre-processing model building and the data evaluation like those things okay so what does the ethics build is like as a data scientist right, we are learning data science now itself we are knowing okay these are the limitations that we are having i will not say it's a limitation it is a careful thing that we are doing okay we are safeguarding the data which is provided to us so that we will bring or build a trust on on the on the client or a person who is giving us uh, the data to do in, informational travel kind of okay so hope you guys have enjoyed this session you you guys need to have a clear cut understanding of why we need ethics in data science okay so if you guys have any doubts related to this please uh, make sure that you guys are uh, noted down and then uh, just asking us in the comment session. So yeah, that's it from my, uh, my side guys. So if you guys have any doubts, just ping in the comments and we are here to help you. And until then, uh, until the next session, uh, let's uh, meet you all in the next session. Okay. So bye. Take care guys. Yeah. So guys, uh, go and absorb the information digest and apply the information. Go and watch all the sessions five to ten times. And then uh, write in the comment section what have you learned, how you're going to apply the information and do all the assignments. And also subscribe our channels and also press the bell icon so that you will get notification. And stay connected for this uh, deep uh, sessions and uh, stay connected and keep working deeply and be consistent, persistent, have patience and build long term objective function. Write in the comment section that what is the long-term uh, objective function for your career and that is going to change your life have long-term life is there is no shortcut in life have long-term perspective for your career objective function okay let's see you in the other session yeah guys thank you take care guys bye